Hello, thank you very much for uh, coming here. Please think a bit of um, what is happiness for you mm -hmm. and how do you relate to that? So, so happiness for me is to be able to influence to other people mm -hmm. to be happy. Uh, just think on a moment when you said it's not a good day, but then you said, okay, I can change it. Mm -hmm. Think on a moment and just tell me. I think I, think I will refer to uh, a social network called Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, because I, I write every morning and every morning I write, I wish you all a great day or I wish you all a beautiful day or something like that. For example, you know this yellow small notes that you write something mm -hmm. and shopping list or whatever. If you use this to write down, this will be a good day. And you take the note and put it in your pocket. And if you have some bad thoughts that uh, I'm not good enough or uh, I want to be, have a better self-image or whatever, you write, write down the bad thoughts that you have and you look at it, and you rip it, mm -hmm. and you throw it in the basket. Okay. And this do something with your brain. This, mm -hmm. this, is, this is psychology who is working. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy. So please, when you wake up in the morning, write one note with your negative thoughts, one note with your positive one, the negative one you put in the garbage. garbage. And the positive one you put in your pocket. Yeah. Happiness like I see it cannot easily be explained mm -hmm. in an interview like this, for example, mm -hmm. but, uh, but uh, are much, much deeper. So we have to maybe look more inside ourselves. How are the people around you? How are, the, how are they? How do you feel them? Like, uh, are they happy like you are, searching the same things? Um, how do you see the world around you? Through happiness, happiness eyes. You have the world around me and you have the close world around me, of course. You have the people who are close to... But I think a lot so... Lots of the mentality changed a little bit. Not only in Norway, but maybe Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. After the uh, terror attack we had in Norway in the 22nd of July last year, uh, I had a very, very, very close friend of mine. Uh, her daughter was killed in this terror attack, and her other daughter was shot two times one in, time in the stomach, one in the shoulder, uh, but she survived. And of course, after a situation like this, how can you even start to talk about happiness? But because she was depressed, she was uh, just staying home, quit work. And then they called me as a therapist and asked if I could work with uh, the mother and the daughter that uh, was shot but still alive after the terror attack and I took an education in the 90s called humor therapy and I think because it's a saying who say that to laugh is like a medicine and 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 I start to work with these people and after two three weeks we start to laugh together and this was the like the key for the happiness for these uh, people in this very difficult situation so so i think if you are depressive mm -hmm. if you are sad and this could be my close world or my the whole world okay. for the sake uh, if you manage to 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 laugh it will do something good to you. But I think always we complicate things. That things that are complicated can very, very often be solved in an easy way. Mm -hmm. So please 
regarding happiness, go out and make people laugh and make people smile. That's the keyword. Okay. Tom, thank you very much for the interview and uh, see you. See you. Thank, thank you. you.